How can companies work with consumers to improve circularity? Um, to improve circularity, consumers are the key, um, if you can put it that way, because let's say you actually come come up with the most environmentally friendly product but the consumer experience of the product is not ideal then it's not going to be a success let's say um, there is no consumer information on uh, the, the the how the product needs to be um, you know, recycled or kind of refurbished or uh, or, or prepared um, ultimately the product can end up in the landfill so the customer consumer is at the center um, to kind of see the circularity of the product or the services so let's start with the design uh, so let's say if you are designing your product for to to fit uh, fit the circular economy model. So you could be designing it for uh, repairability and durability. So the design aspect with the respect to the modularity of the product needs to be considered because the customer should be able to kind of repair and upgrade. Uh, he needs he could be able to kind of take the product and kind of bring it to the repair facility with much ease. Uh, if it's a modular design, you can actually take one portion of it. Uh, the other, the portion which actually requires uh, the, the repairing needs. Uh, and so that design aspect of the product needs to be considered with consumer in mind. Uh, when you actually do the, uh, the uh, take back programs, uh, which are part of the, uh, the, uh, the circular economy models or recycling programs, uh, the customer needs to know and there is a wealth of information from the usage of the products which the, um, the manufacturers can look into in, in order to kind of make it more efficient. Um, so these programs can allow the uh, uh, companies to extract a lot of information and um, so that this is actually coming from the consumer. Um, the next would be that they offer some discount programs or store credits to consumer so that consumer can return the products to those facilities so that information can be uh, achieved uh, can be extracted from 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 the data uh, the next one is with respect to awareness uh, so consumers are a key because um, if you are properly informing the consumer by um, from the information for, of, of the readily, readily available from the product they are able to kind of uh, bring the uh, the the, uh, the products back to the appropriate facility so that they can uh, be recycled or um, repurposed or reused or refurbished. So there are also consumer is key. Um, uh, with respect to innovation, there are a lot of customers or the manufacturers who are uh, involving consumers in the innovation process. Uh, that means they are actually inviting them to kind of provide them with ideas. Uh, of how we, uh, how the um, the product can be made more circular. So a lot of uh, things are um, uh, put into the design phase from the consumer in, in uh, insights, uh, so that it enables them to kind of make a successful uh, a circular economy products. Um, the last one is the deployment of like product IDs or product passports, uh, which can do or facilitate in communicating to the consumer. The, the the history of the product in terms of how it's actually being made and what to do next once the the product is um, 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 uh, fulfilled its usage at, at, with the consumer. Now this actually also kind of gives a lot of information on how the consumer actually uses this, um, the the frequency of usage, the the the, uh, the feedback in terms of um, 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 other aspects as well can be learned from this. So overall, a collaborative approach, which includes the, the consumers uh, and seeing them as a valuable partner is very critical in terms of uh, improving your circularity.